All right, this um, this problem was about portions webs. I'm sorry, proportions webs. So complete the proportions web. So it's not talking about turning a um, fraction into a decimal, into a percent. It's talking about proportions. So um, relationships that uh, as you increase one thing, the other thing increases as well. In this case, we're talking about a robot that can wrap pieces of candy. So as time increases, the amount of candy that um, the robot can package increases. And if it's a proportional relationship, that rate stays the same. And that is the constant of proportionality that we're talking about, um, also known as K. And in our case, the constant of proportionality is how many pieces of candy can the robot wrap in not five minutes, but one minute. So it's all based off of a unit rate. So let's find that unit rate of K. So if I know that 434 pieces can be wrapped in five minutes, the question is, well, what's the unit rate? So how much can he wrap in, let's get this out, in one minute? So handy dandy giant one, let's go ahead and divide both by five. Um, dividing five minutes by five gets you one. So let's just do 434 divided by five, and that gets this robot, fancy candy wrapping robot, can do 86 and 8 tenths pieces of candy in one minute. So that is my unit rate. That is what this whole problem is based off of. And building, so building this um, proportions web, this is my constant of proportionality known as K is, um, is what is kind of a, a symbol for it or a, a variable to represent constant of proportionality. So that's what I'm gonna put inside. So I'm gonna put 86 and 8 tenths is the constant of proportionality. And the situation I'm gonna write um, can wrap can wrap 86 and 8 tenths candy in one minute. So I'm explaining the situation. This robot can wrap 86 and 8 tenths pieces of candy in a minute. For the graph now, for the graph that I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a very, just very rudimentary. This is what's nice about this. It doesn't have to be perfect. So if it's zero minutes, He's gonna grab. He's gonna not do any. He's not gonna be able to wrap any candy. But in one minute, he'll have done eighty-six and eight tenths. In two minutes, so it's just times that by two, he will have done. have done one hundred and seventy-three, seventy-three and six tenths. So in two minutes, that's how many pieces. In three minutes, let's just do it times three. Um. So take that unit rate, that constant of proportionality, and if he's done it for three minutes, it's three of these, and that is 206 to 60 and four tenths. Um, and that is the graph. Should be constant, should be constantly increasing. Every time you increase a minute, every time you go up a minute, it should increase by, um, by our constant. So I add a minute. The robot does another 86 and 8 tenths. If I add a minute, the robot does another 86 and 8 tenths. So that's my graph. Uh, my table should be something very similar where I've got uh, candy, candy, you can call um, X, you can call minutes. Minutes are my x-axis. Candy is the y. And if it's zero minutes, zero candy, one minute. 86, 8, that is my constant. All right, that's my constant. Two minutes, so this is all you're doing. Two minutes, there is 173 and 6 tenths, and I could add a couple more. The rule is interesting. So the rule, I need to take this table or this graph and just write a mathematical um, equation. So for the total candy, so I could say C for candy, or Y for the output, I'll do both. 
So the number of candy, the amount of candy that the robot can make is equal to um, the amount they can do per minute. So the constant. So it's equal to that much each minute. So times t times t for time, or in this case, 86.8 times x, which is time. So there you go. All of it is based on this unit rate, right? It's all right here. That's 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 basically it. That's that, that's it. There it is. That is a that is a proportions web. All right. Hope you enjoyed.